We are not going to be remembered for how much we made, but for how much we have given. Make sure that it is not about me, that it is about we. Turn the me into we. And I guarantee you that you can change the world. None of us can make it alone. None of us. Not even the guy that is talking to you right now. I know I wouldn't be here without my parents, creating me, nurturing me. And then later on, when I went to school, there were the teachers. And then there were the mentors, the coaches. And then my mother was there in the afternoon helping me with my homework and with tutoring. And then in the evening, my father was there helping me in sports, coaching us in soccer, and in the winter, skiing. My father taught me about discipline and my love and appreciation for sports. And he gave me my first great advice by saying, Whatever you do, Arnold, be useful. If I wouldn't have met a lifeguard at the lake where I grew up and some bodybuilders that introduced me to weight training and they taught me the first chin up on a branch of a tree by that lake and that eventually introduced me also to a weightlifting club locally where the coaches taught me about powerlifting and weightlifting and bodybuilding. They helped me. And they nurtured me, they pushed me. And then eventually I saw a magazine with Reg Park on the cover. It said, Mr. Universe becomes Hercules. There was Reg Park in a Hercules pose on the cover. I bought that magazine and I read the story from the front to the end cover. And let me tell you something. I read exactly how he trained five hours a day and how he became a champion, Mr. Universe, three times and how he went to America. And then he was discovered in the, the movies, Hercules movies. Well, when I read that, I found my vision. And let me tell you, the most important thing in life is to have vision, to know exactly where you're going. I found my vision. And that magazine, Reg Park, gave me my blueprint for my life. And five years later, after training five hours a day, just like him and doing his exercises, I became the youngest Mr. Universe ever. The reason why I want you to understand that is, is because as soon as you understand that you are here because of a lot of help, then you also understand that now is time to help others. That's what this is all about. You got to help others. Don't just think about yourself, help others. Tear down this mirror. Tear down this mirror that makes you always look at yourself and you will be able to look beyond this mirror and see the millions of people that need your help. And let me tell you something, when I heard that, it all made sense to me, that we have to go out and help. Because I decided not to listen to the naysayers and because I decided to work as hard as I did in bodybuilding, It's a myth. Now I know you're gonna say, look, we have read so many stories about you. And we saw documentaries where they talk about that you are the model of the American dream and that you are the perfect example of the self-made man. Well, let me tell you, I have seen and heard and read those stories myself. I enjoy reading them. But the fact of the matter is, it is not the whole story. I didn't make it that far on my own. I mean, to accept that credit or that medal would discount every single person that has helped me to get here today. That gave me advice, that made an effort, that gave me the time, that lifted me up when I fell. And it gives the wrong impression that we can do it alone. None of us can. The whole concept of the self-made man or woman is a myth.